Indianapolis Colts practice report for week 7, October 10, October 19, 2022. So it looks bad at the surface, but once you work your way through it, it's not as bad as it looks. So you have Stefan Gilmore, Ryan Kelly, Unique Ngakwe, all rested. No, no practice, just rested. No injury designation, just rest. Kiki QT did not practice with a concussion. Unique Ngakwe did not practice. I already said that with rest. Quiddy Pay did not practice with the ankle. He has a high ankle sprain. I don't see him practicing, practicing this week. I maybe see him being very, very limited on Friday. Like one or two reps just to feel out the ankle. If that, you know. Uh, I can see him very limited, but I don't see him playing on Sunday. I still don't see him playing. Uh, I don't see him playing next week either. Then you have Kylan Granson with the neck. Limited participant. Going to see how the neck goes. Is is um, see how it feels throughout the week. You know, a neck is serious. You, you once you see a neck, once you're having neck issues, you need to be very serious. You, you need to be very you know precautious, and you need to make sure that that's okay before you get in there and you really get going. Shaquille Leonard was limited participant. The concussion, the nose, and the back. I would love to have Shaquille Leonard back. Would love to have him back this game. Then you got Kylan Granson. No, no, we did that. Sorry. John Taylor was a limited participant with the ankle. I could see him coming back this week, but being limited. But being um, on a pitch count, maybe four or five runs, maybe maybe two pass plays. That's how limited he's going to be. It's a high ankle sprain. It's an ankle sprain. You need to be cautious with that. He's still probably going to be, still probably going to have a hard time getting into the mix of things because high ankle sprains kill. They... Oftentimes, they make it difficult to come back throughout the season. It's not fully, and you can't get back to yourself until the next season because you really need to rest, rest, and you need to get the strength back. I expect him to play, but be in a very limited capacity. And Julian Blackman practiced in full to ankle. Naheem Hines practiced in full with the concussion. Naheem Hines is looking good to go. And Deion Jackson with the quad practiced in full. Love that kid. Came back from the injury. Still played. Still did what he needed to do. So, this is the injury report for October 19th, 2022, Week 7, heading into the Tennessee Titans. You guys, let me know what you think about these injuries. Who do you think John Taylor is going to play? Do you think Shaquille Leonard is going to play? Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, put the post on vacation by Lawrence for any future videos. This is JDW Sports Talk Show. See you later.